talata or paragraph ang tawag sa lipon ng mga pangungusap na isa ang paksa. This is an example of a paragraph. All of the sentences are talking about ang kalikasan. In writing a title, you always remember that words should start in capital letter except for nang, uh. at, na, nang, ang, sa, mga. Now I'm going to show you a correct way of writing a title. Three, two, let's go! Mga uri ng talata, talatang nagpapaliwanag. Nililinaw na mabuti ang kaalaman upang maunawaan ito ng bumabasa. This is an example of talatang nagpapaliwanag. This sentence here, they explain about the pot. Talatang naglalarawan, naglalahad ng naramdaman o naisip sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng mga panguwi. This is an example of talatang naglalarawan. These underlined words are adjectives used to describe the dalaga. Cuento or story is an account of events or a certain theme. Now, now let's have an exercise. I'm going to number the correct sequence of events about the selection, walking the dog. This is what I'm going to answer. I'm going to show you the five parts of a letter. Pango Hatan. This is the address of the person who is writing the letter. And it also has a date. Bating Panimora. This is who you are writing to. Katoang Nangiham. This is what you are going to write on the letter. Pating Pangwakas. This can be your friend or your best friend, whatever you want to call it. And Lagdag. This is the person who wrote the letter. I'm going to show you how to fill out an envelope. This is a stamp. This is the name and address of the person who's writing the letter. And this is the name and the address of the person who you are sending it to. There are three kinds of a letter. First is Liham Paan Yaya. This is an invitation letter and it has three elements. One, occasion. Two, time and day of the celebration. And three, place of the celebration. And this is an example. Second is Liham Pagbati. This letter is about congratulating someone for an award or success. And this is an example. The last one is Liham Tiki Babmai. We send messages of comfort to someone who experienced a sad event in his life. And this is an example.
antig or syllables. Ang tawag sa isang bugso ng tunog. Let's do some exercises. In this exercise, I'm going to cut the words into syllables and write how many syllables in these boxes. And then let's get started. In this exercise, I will determine the correct form of pantig. The P stands for patinig and the P stands for patinig. Diptongo ang tawag sa patinig na sinusudan ng W or Y. Let's do some exercises. I'm going to underline the word with diptongo. Ang tawag sa magkasunod at magkaibang tatinig sa isang pantig ng salita. Now, let's do some exercises! Now, I'm gonna underline the cluster and I will write it here. Let's do this! Pangalan. Ang tawag sa ngalan ng tao, bagay, lugar, pangyayari, o hayop. Ito ay may dalawang uwi, pantangi at pambalana. Let's have some exercises! In this exercise, I will write if it's pantangi or pambalana. I will write if it's PT or PB. Okay, let's do this. May ruon ding apat na kasarian ang pangalan. Panlalaki, pambabae, ditiyak, at walang kasarian. In this exercise, I'm going to to determine if the word is PL, PB, DT, or WK. Alright, let's do this. Ang tawag sa salita o katanggang ipinapalit sa pangalan. May tatlong uri ng panghali. Panao, panghalip na humahalili sa ngalan ng tao. Pamatlig, ginagamit sa pagtuturo sa kinalalagyan ng pangangyalan na maaaring malapit o malayo sa kinakausap. Pananong, ito ay pamamalit sa pangalan sa paraang patanong. Let's do some exercises. I'm gonna answer. Pagdiwa ay salitang nagsasaad ng kilos. May tatlong uwi ng pandiwa. 
One, nagana or past. Two, nagagana or present. And three, magagana or future. Let's do some exercises. Now I'm gonna do the exercises. Let's do this.